How dare you? that has seen much of the planet literally go up in flames, COP25 may be one of the last chances that world leaders have to get global warming under control. We are confronted now with a global climate crisis. And the point of no return is no longer over the horizon. It is in sight and hurtling towards us. This is Parsons. A spanner? Oh, uh, under the sink. Beside you. Thank you, brother. I wouldn't have had to bother you, but my husband's out late. Committees. You know what us Parsons are like. You're a thought criminal. They... they haven't been out much. I thank you, brother. Attention! Your attention, please! The message for COP25 will be that... I mean, basically that you, you've had so many meetings like this now, now you must... Uh, get get something good out of this, otherwise we are, we are running out of time, and uh, we are we are watching you. The younger generation is watching you, and uh, we will make sure that you you actually must do something. Science is what is known in economics as a monopsony. There's only one customer, and that's the state. And when you get the state worldwide all signing up to the same thing then scientists will go along with it. They've done it time and time again before. When eugenics was fashionable in Europe and the German government adopted it, then that became the official policy and it led to the death of millions of Jews. Same happened under Lysenko in uh, the Soviet Union. He was a peasant who thought that if you could soak uh, seed corn over the winter and then plant it, you'd get a better crop. Uh, that led to the starvation of millions because the state took it up and all the national academies said, yes, yes, this is right, this is what we must follow, and they did so because the government wanted them to. That is what tends to happen. And the fact is that most of the scientists who comment on this have not necessarily uh, addressed the central question in all this, which is how much warming will you get if you, let us say, double the CO2 in the air? The answer is you don't get very much. And there is paper after paper after paper in the scientific literature that establishes that. So the idea that just because rent-seeking scientific academies, who are these days political rather than scientific bodies, say what they say, therefore we should listen to them, when actually what you should do is get your science from the peer-reviewed scientific literature, that's how it's done. We are the dead. We are the dead. You are the dead. Remain exactly where you are. Make no move until you are ordered. Now they can see us. Now we can see you. How dare you? Clasp your hands behind your head. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. Stand out in the middle of the room. People are Stand suffering. Stand back to back. People are Do not dying. touch one another. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you! Surrounded. The house is surrounded. I suppose, I suppose we may as well say goodbye. You may as well say goodbye.
6079 Smith, open your eyes. How dare you? Keep away from me, Smith. I'm a climate change denier. I didn't know it myself. Thought crime was so insidious. It just creeps up in you. My daughter found it out. Very proud of her. Very grateful I've been discovered before it's too late. <laughs> they won't shoot me, will they, Smith? I know I could be very useful in a labour camp. No. Please. You don't have to take me there. Why? There's nothing I won't confess. Nothing. I've told you everything already. What is it you want me to know? Take him instead of me. He's the thought criminal. It's him you want. 